Okay, today we're playing Empires of the Undergrowth. It's a really cool ant colony simulation. And they had, some, they had a recent update where they've added a tutorial. They've been adding missions to the story. It's still in early access. So every so often there's new story missions, I believe. There's free play. So you can just sort of set up your enemies and things in the arcade. So you just play additional scenarios. So we're gonna go with the story. It's a campaign, documentary style narr narrated missions. It's pretty cool. So let's start a new game. We're gonna go with blue. We're gonna call the <laughs> Colony Durant. Ah, I see the queen has taken well to her new home. It, it's fascinating. She has already started to spawn. Incredible, really, that we found such a healthy specimen. How long until we can expect to see interspecies polymorphism? We should be patient and allow the colony to grow first. I've placed food nearby. Then we will introduce the Formica Fusca and observe the reaction. Excellent. Keep me updated on their progress. So we've already dug out the food. So I think I'll keep my food stockpile. It, it, you, get, you get a, a movement penalty when you walk over things like the brooding tiles or the stock food piles. We just, but we're limited in how many excavation points we have. So every time we try to dig, you know, it costs a point. This is going to be our home base. We're going to go off and do different missions for rewards. And then we'll come back here and we can... We'll get more we'll get food bonuses, royal jelly, which is for unlocking new ants or upgrades for those ants. So right here is our... Your, let's rebuild your ants. We only have worker ants for now. You can build food storage tiles, you can build roads or speed up tiles. And this is the upgrade button if you want to upgrade the eggs or the food storage tiles. So we're going to need some a fair amount of storage. I'm going to use the upgrade tool. So you need like... This has to be surrounded by six other tiles before you can upgrade it. That's how it works. So I don't have enough food. So we're going to just tell our guys to come down here and get that food. So these are like the, you're leaving pheromone sense for your ants to go there. You just tell them to go there and they'll fight off whatever any enemies and any food they find they'll bring back. I'm just gonna upgrade these tiles again. It's only it only costs five food to place. And then whatever you're upgrading, it's gonna cost what the original placement fee is. So it'll be five food to upgrade. So like these ants, these worker ants, it's 10 food to place. Every time we upgrade that tile, it'll be an additional 20 food. But if an ant dies or if it's first being born, it's only two food to hatch. So we're gonna go for a quantity based uh, play style when possible. Sometimes uh, your space is severely limited and you have to focus on upgrading what you have. But it's more efficient in my opinion, just to have a quantity so there's only five five food or so to replace your dead ants. So that's about all we can do here. We're gonna go. This is where your adaptations are. So we'll need 75 royal jelly to unlock the black ant, which is kind of like our soldiers. So we have to. We don't have enough. We have zero. So we'll go to the level selection. We'll do these two levels, and there's a form a carrium challenge. 
or we'll have to defend our, our base here. So let's go to 1.1. 1 .1. We'll choose medium difficulty. You don't get rewarded much more for going to hard or even insane. The rewards are, they don't scale up that much. But we definitely want a challenge. We'll stay with medium. Let's get started. So this is, so on this, this level. This Formica Fusca queen has set up home beneath a rotting log. She is fat and vulnerable. Her first brood will need to move quickly if the colony is to survive. Their priority now is to find food and there is plenty around. But there are other hungry creatures down here. The workers will need to be vigilant. The ants have encountered a pocket of woodworm. These defenseless weevil larvae will make an excellent meal for the colony. They will be butchered and carried off for processing. So this map is relatively safe. If it's just green, you can go there. But in some maps, it can be quite challenging. Because there's hidden dangers. So we're going to just dig this out a little bit more. This is where we're going to put our black ants. So when you play these levels, you get ants that are already unlocked. But to use these at our, home, at our formicarium, we're going to need to unlock them. So let's build this. We're going to need to get a storage going as well. And I'll build a storage up here. So here's our food. get some workers as well so I'll just get some more workers down here I don't need too many so here's our black ants you can just drag them over that's pheromone sent one so we can tell them to go places now you can't if you have eggs all next to each other like down here you're not allowed you're not able to split them they're always going to go to like one group like these six are going to hatch here so we could click and drag we're not going to be able to divide that group and put half here and half there in order to do that we'll have to build a separate egg nest where these brood and tiles are not touching each other okay so we're going to need so we can tell we're gonna put our workers on pheromone scent two. Tell them to go down there. Get these. Uh, what were they? Woodworms. And I think that's the only place. Oh, there's one right there as well. So we'll get these. Looks like we got them all. We'll get that one. We're going to need a lot more black ants. And you want to keep some supply eventually because when your ants die off, they can quickly be replaced, but you need food. Like these black ants, when they die, it's just food to hatch them again. So I think that's all we can get for that. Uh, where's it? It looks like this is the easiest one. So my black ants are right there. I'm gonna tell them to come, or uh, tell my black ants to come there. Get my workers away. The workers have uncovered carnivorous larvae of Ochipusolens, the devil's coach horse. They are born ready for combat, with powerful slicing mandibles for chopping up their prey. So I just had five They're still black ants. They're small, however and must undergo a final pupation before their armor is fully developed. If the ants are fast, they should be able to overwhelm these critters. If the ants had disturbed the adult of these larvae, the outcome for the colony may not have been so fortunate. They must expand with caution. So 
I just had I just have five black ants and I'm handling two of these guys no problem. So I got my workers to go down there, get the food. Put my black ants up here, I think. And we're gonna need more. Take that out. Dig up through here. Oh, we still have some guys down there. Might be. Yeah, let's go down here first. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. to go there, get our soldiers up to here. Yes, yeah, so I've got 13 worker ants, 9 black ants now. Don't forget to give the video a like, guys, and please subscribe if you haven't. Build another one, because it's gonna it's gonna be uh, there's four up here. We got all this area done. I think we'll go this direction. And we'll come back through here and get that there food. There are intruders in the nest. That was quite easy. These wood lice will make a significant addition to the colony's larders, but they are clinging tightly to the ground. It's going to take some effort to dislodge them. Yeah, these guys are heavily armored, but it looks like it's plenty of food. It's going to upgrade my food storage. 190 isn't much. So go to the upgrade tool right here. And because these are surrounded by six tiles, they can be upgraded. And then they need to be up surrounded by upgraded tiles to upgrade further, I believe. But it's only five food per upgrade, and look, we have 490 capacity already. So these are level two. You can see, like, the two yellow symbols there. It shows their level. So that's probably pretty good. We need a lot of those black ants. Okay, so we're just going to go into here. We'll have 18 black ants soon. That'll be great. So I enjoy this game. It's it's pretty fun. Lots more food. So if you upgrade your ants, they'll be less likely to die. But I kind of feel like if you have this space, quantity is probably better. Get some more workers. Workers will fight too, but they're not that strong. Okay, I'm just waiting for my soldiers to come. There are intruders in the nest. Which 
open up this section as well. Yeah, we got lots of food now. With that food, guys. Now, there's plenty of food up here, so... There's lots up there as well, so maybe we'll, that looks quite challenging. Let's try up here. And I'll save some food. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. This isn't too bad. There are intruders in the nest. Okay, this will be more challenging though. Just got 25 black ants. They're doing a good job. Got my workers in there, start getting those uh, wood worms. Everyone on board for harvesting. Ooh, it's a lot of food. So I think we'll have about 30, 31, oh, 33, okay. So we can go on and get these guys. Let's go up from here though. Taking a while to be hatched. The colony is starving. There's not enough food to feed the new brood. There are intruders in the nest. Yeah, we are losing quite a bit to those guys. But we still will have a surplus. Let's get the workers up there. Yeah, I can't wait to see, like, there's so many, there's different spiders we'll run into, and, like, ladybugs, and probably, like, praying mantis and stuff. I think there's amphibians that we might come up against. It's a really interesting game. And it's a good price on Steam. I think it's on sale. It was, like, $20 Canadian or something. I enjoy it. It's kind of a has addictive gameplay in a way, like I, I was looking forward this morning to playing this game. Try to know how how long a game will be interesting to you, but in the nest. so far so good. Oh, that's a tough battle. Chipping away at them, though. Okay, get our workers up there. 
I don't have a whole lot of experience this game, but I think I'm doing okay so far. We're gonna want to have like potentially like 40 black ants. Or more. Let's get my soldiers down there. Yeah, I guess it's probably like there are intruders in the nest. Fifty plus would be what we'll need. And we'll keep a stockpile of food to re replace the ones that die. Oh, we got food up here. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, look at that exclamation mark. So it's gonna be a tougher guy there. And two more up there. So we'll get this the black ants to help out with these guys. We'll get some more hatched. Should be a good amount of food from these guys though. Take it easy because I don't want to drain that my food stores. So these guys, yeah, they're chewing away at them. Okay, get the black ants over there. I probably want to stay above 300. So yeah, let's just try this. See how this goes. We got 51. I'll get my workers back here. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. The ants have stumbled into the path of a fully developed devil's coach horse beetle, and it's hungry for breakfast. The beetle is almost four times the size of a black ant, and protected by thick plates of external armor. Whilst it bites at the tiny defenders, it sprays foul-smelling secretions from the end of its raised abdomen, disorientating the ants. The devil's coach horse is dead. Its corpse will provide food to support dozens of new brood. Yes, we lost a fair bit of food. I think we'll have a surplus, though. This guy should get a lot of food. Okay, I think I'll... Cut. Enough for at least one more nest. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, we'll pull back the workers. Well, they'll just, they're just gonna die quickly. And we'll go at them at two angles. Predators are loose in the nest. The larvae must be protected. This is a, gonna be a very tough battle. They're just chewing through our guys. Food is draining rapidly. So we just get the workers up there as well. 
Okay, that turned around quickly. We did it. Victory. This Formica Fusca colony has now established itself as a rising power in the undergrowth. Soon their territory will need to expand above ground, where new challenges await. For the time being, however, the queen is safe. Nice. Victory. Now we get to choose a reward. So I like the extra royal jelly. We have we have zero, so we get twenty more over here. I mean, food is great. You know, I'm managing my territory, so I don't need too many excavation points yet. So go with the extra royal jelly. We'll end that level. Got the achievement quantity, not quality. Let's return to the formicarium. Okay. How is the colony progressing? The queen is exhibiting interesting new behaviors. I believe the colony is beginning to adapt. We can go to the surface now. Just gonna excavate that. Oh, they're still getting the food, it looks like. Oh, no, I'm gonna put a. Uh, These guys protecting the nest. They'll go and do the excavation. And now this locks unlocks the surface level. And the, the brown area, that's where our food is. So I'm just going to put these guys in pheromone wine and we'll get that food. So we need 75 royal jelly, and then we can unlock the black ants. And we're going to need them because there's, there's some challenges we have, to, we have to complete with our formicarium. Yeah, so this is my food. I'm going to put the black ants in here, I think. Got lots of excavation points. I think I'll want more workers as well. So I'm not sure where I'll put them. I might just kind of squeeze them into here. Got nine points left. That's good. Because I'll have these guys doing the excavation. I'll just get some workers going to harvest and food and things. Yeah, so I think I'm going to make a... I'm definitely going to make a playthrough series. I'll keep the videos at about a half hour. And I'll release one every day. Which is because I think this game will be uh, a lot of fun. It's enjoyable to play. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching it. And if you do enjoy, please hit that like button. Please subscribe if you haven't. It lets me know that you guys, when I see the likes and the comments, it lets me know that you guys are interested in the video and you, you're enjoying it. And then I'll make more videos if I see that. So this is for the workers. We have a good amount of food. The queen has begun to lay new eggs. Perfect. We will soon have a thriving colony. So I think I'll just put these like way over here. I think they'll be less distracting for me. Cause I wanna, I'm gonna be clicking on these guys faster. Okay, they're hatching. So I'm gonna go to the, it's like the top level and get these guys. And they'll go harvest that. So every level we beat, they're going to drop some more food. Depending on what the reward level we chose. There's a few grubs on top that we can harvest. And sometimes, like, when you're 
you're doing the challenges, they'll, they'll drop some food while you're being attacked and stuff. So you, there might be a possibility to, if you have a chance to grab more food. It's kind of unlikely, but. but yeah, so next episode, we're working on getting, we're going to do 1.2, unlock the black ants for this formicarium. And then maybe we'll try to do it in the formicarium challenge. It's quite difficult even on medium difficulty. Anyways, guys, I'm going to stop the, vi stop the video here. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.